fuck's sake, says Cascat9. Robbie, I'm at home with my six six year old. You six six year old? I wish you both better. How do you select your songs to bring out? They kind of just select themselves. It's very difficult to uh, write a single. And when they arrive, you know. And when they don't, you know. It's much more difficult to pick a song to release when you don't have a <laughs> world-beating song to put out there. It's nearly Christmas, the run up to Christmas. It's getting closer every day. And if you haven't started your shopping, turn off this Insta, be on your way. It's rainy outside. It's rainy outside and grey as fuck. It's quarter to one. I've just had a look. There's a clock tower just over there. It's grey as fuck and I don't care. Cause in my heart it's July 5th and sunny as fuck. This is it. It's horrible outside, says Vanessa Finley. What are you getting ready for, says Kay Louise Southern. Interviews and shit. <sighs> Loads of interviews. Charlie 31317 says, give us a wave. There's one. Why the makeup? Just tuning in. Because, um... I'm off to do some interviews. And this just doesn't happen by itself, folks. You need a Davide. <laughs> Say hello, Davide. Hi. Hi. My son is totally faking being sick. God, they, I was so good at that. <laughs> Where are you? Yeah, I think like I was only genuinely sick 10% of the time that I <laughs> pretended to be sick. Check this out. Okay, so just feel underneath here. Right? Okay. Oh, yeah. Take, now what? Oh, yes. Wow. You're good. Yeah. <laughs> that's uh, That's how I got out of school. Hello, uh -huh. <laughs> Rob here. I totally committed to that role, too. It's my first main acting gig was <laughs> pretending to be sick. Yes. <laughs> um, so what's happening, everybody? You just wanted him to touch your face, really. Yes, I did. Hey up, Rob, says Peter A. Cadman. Hey up, Peter A. Cadman. Hello, hello. How are the kids? Oh, the kids are really good. They had a... Uh, a fake shop that they set up yesterday. But they gave everything away for free. Paul PSG says you're a diamond geezer. Oh, bless you. Thank you. Superbike saws. It's left some flag I don't recognise. Looking nice and calm today. Apparently, pally tickets tomorrow. <clears throat> Can't wait to get my hands on this album. <clears throat> so, I've signed over 9,000 of the Christmas present albums. Kind of want to carry on. Um, but I'm in London today and I've signed all the CDs that I can sign. Got to wait till I go home. It is Robbie Williams' Christmas present album available on RobbieWilliams.com Signed by this hand Are you looking forward to Christmas with your family? My favourite time of the year Yes it is my favourite time of the year too 
I'm going to shave my shoulders. <laughs> Just, uh, yeah. I can do it with a small clipper. Yeah, that'd be great. I can do it after. Yeah, because I've gone all Wolverine on my back. So, <laughs> Have you started time. your Christmas? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Have you started your Christmas shopping? No, I haven't. The wife takes care of all of that. And I just have to buy the wife's present. Very, very lucky. Foot massage in Phuket whilst watching RW. Does life get any better? I bet it's not rainy and grey in Phuket and I bet you're feeling pleased with yourself because it is here. I know how I feel in Los Angeles when it's really warm and you're just miserable over here. I'm like... <laughs> Just had a cheese toastie enough to listen to some children from my sh son's class. Cheese toastie sounds good. Mm. Mm. Training in Manchester. Goes without saying. Um, it's always raining in Manchester. You were ever gone. Oh, am I doing the hits live this Sunday? Cool. It's cold in Stoke today. Oh, my food's around. Need to eat it or I won't survive. And it's foodie time. Want to see what I'm eating? Check this out. Da 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 da. What's that? It's cod. Nice. Oh, blackened cod. Loves it, I. Loves a bit of blackened cod. Right. Your hair is frizzy. Yeah, it rained. <laughs> Is that what happens in the rain? Mm -hmm. It's what happens when I don't do anything. Why is it bad? No, why don't ah. you keep it like that? I might do it because I don't have to do anything. I don't know why. I walked in and probably went, loop day. I, like, oh. yeah. <laughs> I don't know why people don't. <laughs> Just leave it. Yeah. I watched like the... people with curls going, I've got to get rid of my curls. It's like, what? why? Yeah, I, don't I don't get know. it. Well, I, love I watched a video last night, Shawn Mendes, saying the best way to do your hair. Do what it needs to do. Fashion chips from Shawn Mendes there. <laughs> I just thought I'd let it. The best way to do your hair is just let it do when you need oh, to. Oh, when it's curly. So I'll just do what he said. Michael? Anyone? Hello? I'm being mugged. <laughs> They've taken my purse. And... Can I have a Barocca, please? Yeah. Is my hair what, is my hair wet or just styled that way? Somebody asked. It's it's wet. Yeah. It's we, wet. We still have to start it. I'm just gonna do the face first and then. Davide is from uh, Doncaster. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Little known fact. Everybody from Doncaster speaks with an Italian accent. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> do they? Really? Yeah, they do. Yeah. Is no. it true? <laughs> no. <laughs> it would be great, wouldn't it? Yeah, it was like just one yeah. place in northern yeah. England. <laughs> Have you got through 10,000 CDs? I'm at 9,000. 10,000, but I think I'll just... I think I'll just bloody carry on. Thanks, Craig. You're welcome. Uh, So I'm going to be drinking all of this water.
I don't know, maybe because it's a TV episode then. I don't know. It just turns off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Really? I don't know. <laughs> Do you reckon it does that just in case you've left it on? Yeah. Yeah, well, probably. it should give you the bloody option, shouldn't it? Yeah, it yeah. should give you the bloody option. Have you left this on? Let's have a word. Can you speak to Instagram? Taking a break from signing ten thousand albums, the Christmas present by me, Robbie Williams. It's been signed nine thousand times so far. I'm going to be signing ten thousand. You can get it at robbiewilliams.com. Everybody does. I mean, it's normal, no? Mm. We are humans. <laughs> we are humans, see? <laughs> we move, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do you expect? Hi, Andy. Yeah, exactly. Now go to work. Wow. Uh, what have you eaten this morning, Leah? Nothing. Really? Leo's fasting. We're gonna have avocado and toast and soy juice at tea. Leo's gonna have avocado and toast and salary juice. So you've done a month of fasting. Then you've got to reintroduce another meal. Like after a month, you can then start eating two meals. Oh, I'm not suggesting you have breakfast. I'm not born in a fridge. I'm doing two on seven. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, I'm doing that. Yeah, I'm not doing that. her entertained.
yourself a stranger, a cleanser. And see yourself the Christmas number one. They're available on RobbieWilliams.com. I've signed 9,000. Got to sign 10,000. But I'm having so much fun. I might just bloody carry on. Do 100. Do 100. A hundred. Your hair looks perfect, even unstyled. Just saying. Oh, too much hair to dry, bud. And not enough time, right? Oh, not much hair to dry, bud. No, there isn't. That's right. That David they did to me <laughs> a number one under a pear tree. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sandy Palawa says, look fit with three T's. So, so, so if my album isn't number one, I've still got a number one at Christmas. <laughs> 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 I said I want a number one. I, mean, I said I want number. Yeah, they, this is it. I said he'll do it as well. Oh really? <laughs> Everyone has to do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Michael. Yeah. Would you not do a number one at Christmas? I won't need to, bro. Because there'll be a number one at Christmas. <laughs> okay. But if I think Michael, though. Yeah. Let me have a look at your head. He won't do it. He won't do it. No. no. Like all the way. Yeah. <laughs> what did you celebrate? I mean, I will get tattooed. Would you? What would you get? Wow. What would you get? That's permanent. Kind of gross. Would back. you get? Would you get? <laughs> would you get the image of my album cover on your back? <laughs> <laughs> or on your arse? The Christmas present. I just want you to get the Christmas present written on your arse. Uh, uh, all right. Me and Leo will get number ones. Because you're still in the market, aren't you? So, I am, yeah. and you're in the market too. Yeah. But yeah, but like. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, I'm into number one. I got head tattooed. So. Head tattooed. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm uh, somewhere. I don't know. I'm getting number one. Yeah. <laughs> tattooed. <laughs> the Christmas present. There. <laughs> The Christmas present tattooed on your arse. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> with a with an arrow. What? Yeah. Direction. Yeah. <laughs> Tracy Miller says, "Don't shave it." Maria B seventy four says, "Do it, Leo." Somebody said, "Do you miss One Direction?" I actually do. I prefer them as a unit. Yeah, I do. Uh, yeah, these. Can you imagine what cool stuff they do now? Now they've all gone off and. Yeah, they came back. Yeah. 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 I wonder what would happen. It'd be a lot different. It'd be good to find out. If if they went away and then kept this is what I thought Tate I should do all the time, but I couldn't be asked to learn an instrument. It was like come back as a band. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. And rock, and rock the fuck out. Mm -hmm. Eyeshadow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Obvious tennis says, don't shave it, please. This w I'm not taking it to a public vote. <laughs> yeah. That's what's fucking happening. What do you think about Harry Styles and his music? Well, I really liked, uh, what was that first song called? Sign of the Times. Sign of the Times. And I quite like the, the, the last song. But to be honest, I haven't heard anything else other than those two songs. Which is weird, like somebody with so much charisma and presence. I'm, I'm only aware of two songs. Uh, I'd like to be aware of more songs, but then I should just use this and go to YouTube and listen to them, shouldn't I? But uh, I'm a big fan of all the boys in One Direction. I think Niall's new song great. is like, yeah. that wins. Nice to meet you. <laughs> it be. Because... Um, because it sounds like me. <laughs> mm. uh, where do you think about... What do you think about German girls? I like German girls. They're very kind to me. During the 90s. You are... Hold on. Out focus. You out focus. I in focus. Do you like work with Louis? Yeah, I like work with Louis. Uh, hello. I had. Why do bees have sticky hair? They always use honeycombs. <laughs> eh? <coughs> so there you go. I said, do you miss one day? Yeah, I just saw old Gallagher. Do you get on with him? You just saw him. Is he, um, you're in Australia, aren't you, Dean? He, he must be down there supporting somebody. Being the, see the... <sighs> Rob, please don't encourage Leo to shave his hair off, says your mum. Leo, don't shave your hair off. Thank you. There. Uh, listen, Bobby, I, I, tried, I tried my best. The rest is out of my hands. <clears throat> that guy is spending way too much time on your hair. Uh, fuck yourself. <laughs> Basically. The other one, Uh Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're done. I'm done. Yeah? Good and tag. Um, how long until I have to do the thing? Yeah. 25 minutes and I've got nothing to sign. Yeah. Radio. What are we going to do? Um, What's your audience? It's only 600 people. Oh, it's they, just selective. They, they want the signed. And nine. Mm -hmm. Just friends. Intimate gig. 
600 francs. Right, Jacket. Uh, well, hey, everybody, if you've just welcome, welcome to uh, Radio Robbie Williams. I've just been having my makeup and hair done by Davide because I'm going to be doing some interviews today uh, with the UK press. Uh, that should be fun. Um, and then I'll be making a tour of apologies for the next several months, apologising for what I've just said. Um, like I say, I am Robbie Williams. This is Robbie Williams Radio. I've been signing 9,000 albums, The Christmas Present, by me, Robbie Show Williams. The back, Rob. What? The back. Oh, yes, please. 9,000. I'm about to get my hair taken off my back. But for now, I'd like to... There's a premiere coming up. Drum roll, everybody. Drrr. If you want to buy a signed album, it's on RobbieWilliams.com. But for now, here's Robbie Williams. And bloody take that. You must authorise this computer before you can use Alpha. It's not Robbie Williams and take that. It's a song that didn't make the Christmas album. Christmases ago, I went all in Cause there was something about this town that kept on falling It's not in my blood or in my DNA But it held my hand when I ran away I'm a lost angel Holiday season, come on, come on, California, keep your head. It's Christmas, it's all good. You know it's Still feels like Christmas, so I got out of my car and I handed him my wish list and it went Come on, California, keep going. So one night, 18 years ago, very late, I said to myself, if I wake up tomorrow and I'm still alive, I'm going to change. Thank you, California. And if there's no frost on the palm trees, then there's no frost on me. I moved in.
And it's way to you soon. If you don't know where to get it from, go to RobbieWilliams.com. Go get a signed one. I've signed 9,000. It's a love, eat, relationship, says, Hey up, kid. Hey up. For your Instagram handle. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello. How are you? I'm very well, just let me turn the telly down. What there are you watching? Go. Fred Claus. Uh, oh, are you with children? No. <laughs> okay, great. No, I've got an afternoon to myself today. So after being so... off work. Have you got kids? 
I've got two children, so I'll pick them up in three hours. Not that I'm counting, but I've got three hours. Make, make them count. Every second count. So, um, how are they? How are they behaving? Uh, <laughs> my eldest one's lovely. My little girl isn't wired right. She's not normal. She's a so mother's how, daughter. How old's your How old's your oldest one? So my eldest is nine. Yeah. And my youngest is five. Okay. So um, the five-year-old is just potty. She's not. I've never seen a baby smile so much. Oh, that's not. Oh, she smiles. Mine smiles, but you know, just as she's doing something like this, it's like yeah, that the crazy eye smile. The so is seven. Is seven o'clock bedtime for both of them? No. So seven for my youngest, nine for my eldest. And the eldest, once again, is how old? Sorry. Best babe. When did you um? When did you start letting him stay up until nine? Uh, when he went into year five at primary school, so he's second to last. So this school year it went up. So because the homework levels go up, he needs. with every ailment known to man, as soon as you tell her it's bedtime. She's hungry, she's thirsty, her legs are hurting. She's got earache, belly ache. there's something under the bed. And so we, for about an hour, we will to and fro to the bedroom. So she needs that buffer time. So what happens if you just leave her? All hell breaks loose. Really? Oh, <laughs> yes. Uh, we've tried the, oh God, we've tried everything with her. You just have to kind of go with it. Pick your arguments and not stress out about it. Just run with it. Until it, until it peters out. Until she falls asleep on the landing, which generally what happens. She just kind of plateaus in the end. Wow. So, or we find her asleep in our bed. So if you lie about it being seven o'clock and it's six o'clock then maybe she will be asleep by seven, is what you're thinking. Mm -hmm. I get it. I've got, I've got a feeling all of that will be over soon, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She'll know we're lying to her soon. So, mm. she's, uh, she doesn't miss Don't a trick. Don't you hate that bit where you're doing this, where you're spelling out things, and all of a sudden they know what you're spelling? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't tell my mum that I understood for the longest time. I just, I just knew that I should keep this to myself. But it's like writing Christmas lists for people. You can't leave them lying about now because they can read everything. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, we went wrong by giving them an education. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, keep them dumb. Yeah. It's like, I think with your second one, you learn as well not to teach them to talk and walk quite as quick. Because like your first one, you're like, yeah, come on, let's have, let's talk, let's walk. With your second one, you're like, come on, slow down, kid. Yeah, no need to be doing that. I think you're a lot less, uh, you're a lot less stressed with your second one. Yeah, too busy to be stressed. You just well, kind of go. Sort of like, with the first one, you go in. Is it going to collapse and walk into it? Ah, <laughs> oh, my God! Yeah. You got to you hover, and then the second one you are like, ah. and then third one you are like, yeah, good luck. Every with the first one, every time you hit his head, we'd be in A and E. With the second one, you are like, they've not been sick. I'm not sitting in A and E for four hours while they tell us to watch from being sick. 
Yeah. So, yeah, you are you're less stressed with the second one. So they're like tri trial, trial children. Have a trial, yeah. trial to see how you get on with it. Yeah. Anyway, what's your, what's your first name? Uh, Laura. Laura. My name's Rob. It's a pleasure to meet you. Have you ordered the Christmas present? I most certainly have. Here's to you, Laura. Bless you. So I, I, it was top gonna... of... Pardon? It was top of my list. Um, I've been seeing you in concert many, many times. Many times. Bless you. Thank you. Nebworth was the best one. Yeah, it was good, right? Did you come to Hyde Park this year? No, um, I didn't do Hyde Park this year. I've not really done many concerts the past couple of years, so because I can't stand for long periods of time at the moment, so it's kind of been off, off the list. But maybe next year, get you know, back in. You know it. the seats in stadiums, don't you? I know it's no 